These are the wiring instructions for the electric actuator. A wiring diagram is available on our website or inside the actuator top cover if needed. Prioritize safety. Ensure the power is completely off before proceeding. To access the terminal strip, first remove the four screws to open the top cover. While doing this, we pay close attention to ensure that the sealing gasket underneath the cover is not damaged. To rotate or open the actuator in the counterclockwise direction using AC voltage, apply power to Terminal 2 and Terminal 3. The actuator will rotate counterclockwise until it reaches the internal limit switch and automatically shuts off. To rotate or close the actuator in the clockwise direction, apply power to Terminal 2 and Terminal 4. The actuator will rotate clockwise until it reaches the internal limit switch and then shuts off. For DC voltage units, to rotate or open the actuator in the counterclockwise direction, apply a positive DC voltage to Terminal 3 and a negative DC voltage to Terminal 4. The actuator will rotate counterclockwise until it reaches the internal limit switch and automatically shuts off. To rotate or close the actuator in the clockwise direction, apply a negative DC voltage to Terminal 3 and a positive DC voltage to Terminal 4. The actuator will rotate clockwise until it reaches the internal limit switch and then shuts off. A built-in heater is available for use when needed and can be activated based on the operating environment. This is one of the many exciting features that the Hour Electric Actuator offers. Limit switches are essential components that control the actuator's stopping points, ensuring precise open and close positions. If the actuator fails to stop at the correct position or does not respond as expected, setting the full open position, manually adjust the electric actuator to its fully open position. Use a lever to loosen the nuts on the limit cam. Rotate the limit cam until the corresponding open limit switch, yellow, is activated. Ensure that the actuator's connection to the valve is properly aligned and securely positioned. Once everything is correctly aligned, securely tighten the cam nut. Setting the full closed position. Manually operate the actuator to the fully closed position. Use a lever to loosen the nuts on the limit cam. Rotate the limit cam until the red closed limit switch is activated. Ensure that the actuator's connection to the valve is properly aligned and securely positioned. Once everything is correctly aligned, securely tighten the cam nut. Proper positioning of the actuator and valve connection ensures accurate operation and prevents mechanical issues. Manual operation in case of power loss. In the event of a power failure, the actuator can be manually opened or closed using the handwheel. However, it is crucial to follow these precautions. Never operate the handwheel while the actuator is powered. Doing so may cause mechanical damage or operational failure. Use the visual position indicator. Always refer to the indicator to ensure proper opening or closing direction. Do not over-rotate the handwheel. Turn it only as much as necessary to reach the fully open or fully closed position. Mechanical Position Adjustment for Electric Actuators Mechanical adjustment is used to set the full closed and full open positions of the actuator with millimeter precision. However, this process is only necessary in specific cases requiring extreme accuracy. For most applications, the limit switches are the primary method for controlling the actuator's open and close positions. They provide reliable, automated stopping points without the need for manual adjustments.